At Wells Fargo, our goal is to provide you with an application and transaction process that is easy and convenient for both you and your customers. We know that businesses have different needs. Our application and transaction process adapts to your needs and those of your customers. Our recommended and most preferred method by retailers is our paperless process, known as Wells Fargo Credit Connect. It's paper-free, saves time, and lets you conduct business anywhere on the floor, or even if you are at your customer's home. Once your business has enrolled in Wells Fargo Credit Connect, all you need is a device, such as a tablet, smartphone, or a standalone station with internet connectivity for the customer to enter their information. It is required that the customer, not the sales associate, enter their personal information directly into Wells Fargo Credit Connect. Your customer will also need to provide a valid email address in order for their Shaw credit card agreement to be sent electronically. If you do not have a device for the customer or your customer is not comfortable applying electronically, then use our paper process. This process will also be used if a customer does not have an email address. Please note that the customer cannot use their personal device, such as their smartphone with Wells Fargo Credit Connect. They also cannot provide someone else's email address. The email address must be of their own to receive their Shaw credit card agreement. So how do you know when to use Wells Fargo Credit Connect or the paper process? Easy, ask the customer, do you have your own email address to receive the Shaw credit card agreement electronically? Asking this simple question up front will let you know which process to use. To complete the application, the customer must be in person and provide a valid government-issued photo ID, such as a driver's license. This also applies to the co-applicant, if there is one. When using Wells Fargo Credit Connect, you will begin the application by completing the merchant information. This includes the estimated purchase price, if known. When instructed, turn your device over to the customer where they will provide consent to an electronic agreement and disclosures. Afterwards, the customer enters their email address and confirms if there's a co-applicant or not. Next, the customer enters the required information for a credit decision, such as name, date of birth, social security number, physical address, and their net annual income. A phone number will also be required for servicing purposes. It is critical that it is the customer reviewing their credit card agreement prior to them providing an electronic signature agreeing to the terms. The customer is then instructed to turn the device back to you. You will verify the customer's identity with their photo ID. Make sure that you match the information in Wells Fargo Credit Connect with that of the ID. You will also want to make sure that the photo and the ID looks like your customer. This step helps to protect your business against fraud. Once you've verified the customer's identity, submit the application to Wells Fargo for a credit decision. A credit decision is returned in a matter of seconds. For customers that are approved, communicate their available credit. They are then able to use their credit line immediately. For applications that are pending, decisions are typically rendered in 15 minutes. The customer may be contacted to supply additional information. If your wait time is longer than 15 minutes, contact Client Processing at Wells Fargo. Client Processing will fax a decision to your business to the number provided when your business enrolled in the program. And if the application is declined, make sure to use words such as the account was declined rather than you were declined. Also let the customer know that they will receive written notification of the decision within 30 days from Wells Fargo. If you are unable to use Wells Fargo Credit Connect, the paper application is your next choice. It is somewhat similar in that the customer must be in person, have a valid ID, and requires the same information from the customer for a credit decision. Now let's go through what makes the paper application different from Wells Fargo Credit Connect. First, and the most obvious, the application is a paper application. Make sure you are using the most current version of the application. As of December 21st, 2018, the application code will be 1218. This code is located in the upper right corner of the paper application. Keep in mind that changes to the terms of the credit card agreement may occur in the future for new applications. 
When this happens, your business will automatically be sent a set of new paper applications. The majority of our retailers will use the internet processing system for submitting the paper application for a credit decision. The internet processing system can be found on the online resource center located at wellsfargo.com slash retail services. After the customer completes, signs, and dates the application, you will enter their information exactly as it appears directly into the internet processing system for a credit decision. After communicating the decision, you will record the customer's account number on the paper application for customers receiving an approval. You will then hand the customer the applicant copy of the application and the Shaw credit card agreement. You will only retain the merchant copy of the application. A quick way to tell which one is the merchant copy is to look for the vertical black bar with the words merchant copy on the left side of the page. You will also notice that part of the customer's date of birth and social security number is blacked out. It is extremely important that you hand the customer the applicant copy and the Shaw credit card agreement as the customer is legally obligated to receive the credit card agreement in a form that they can keep. While the merchant copy of the application is in your possession, please keep it in a secure location, which means under lock and key. You will also want to refer to your Wells Fargo agreement for the retention policy. You'll be asked to mail the merchant copy of the approved and declined applications to Wells Fargo within 15 days. Before we talk about submitting a transaction, let's talk about one final difference in the application process. Wells Fargo Credit Connect and the Online Resource Center's Internet Processing System are two completely different websites with different URLs. You will receive the URLs to both systems during your training session with your facilitator. Make sure you save each URL as a favorite. Let's now review transactions. You'll be able to submit a transaction such as an authorization or charge right after you receive the customer's approval. How you submit the transaction depends on whether the customer will receive their flooring in the future or that very same day. If the flooring and any installation included is to be received in the future, you will select Authorize Only in Wells Fargo Credit Connect or Authorize for Future Delivery in the Internet Processing System. Remember, in order to use Wells Fargo Credit Connect, the customer must have an email address in order to receive the receipt electronically. If using the Internet Processing System, print two copies of the receipt one for the customer to sign and be retained by your business, and the other for your customer to receive. The authorization transaction simply authorizes a hold on a portion of the available credit line until the flooring and any included installation is received by the customer. Once the flooring is installed, it's time to finalize your sale. Please note, if you've been using Wells Fargo Credit Connect up to this point, it's time to switch to the internet processing system. You will submit the actual charge by going into the Internet Processing System and selecting Charge for Previously Authorized Ticket. Provided you have a signed copy of the authorization from the customer and the customer has their copy, there is nothing more to print. Now let's say the customer receives the flooring the day they make the purchase. In this scenario, you will use the Authorize and Charge option in either Wells Fargo Credit Connect or the Internet Processing System. This submits the charge to the customer's account immediately. For Wells Fargo Credit Connect, the receipt is emailed to the customer. If using the internet processing system, print two copies of the receipt, one for the customer to sign and be retained by your business, and the other for the customer to receive. When a charge is submitted, you can expect your business banking account to be funded the net deposit of the charge minus the business discount rate within 24 to 48 hours. You will learn more about processing applications and transactions in both systems when you attend your required training with a facilitator. In the meantime, if you have questions regarding which system you will be using, feel free to contact your Wells Fargo sales representative. Thank you for your time. This completes our video series on the Shaw Credit Card Program. Be sure to visit the Retailer Match Game as final questions and a new game level have been added. Now's your chance to advance to the top of the leaderboard.